So, good afternoon guys. For today, our topic is about individual psychology by Alfred Adler. And let's see what are the objective of this particular module. So, the objective at the end of this module, you will be able to dis distinguish between striving for superiority and striving for success. Second, define style of life and discuss the various methods of identifying a person's style of life. List and describe three types of Adlerian safeguarding tendencies and discuss Adler's ideas on birth order. So let's see, uh, under this subject, we have the view of human nature. Under that view of human nature, Adler said, sees an individual as a social that is shaped by social environments and interactions. So the main tenets of Adlerian theory is number one, the one dynamic force behind the people's behavior is the striving for success or their superiority. Second, people's subjective perception shape their behavior and personality or what we call fictionalism. And third, personality is unified and self-consistent. And for the main tenets again of Adlerian theory, we have the fourth uh, discussion that the value of all human activity must be seen from the viewpoint of social interest. In fifth, the self-consistent personality structure develops into a person's style of life. And the last one is the style of life it is shaped in people's creative power. So when we say striving for success and superiority, that is uh, the inferiority feelings as a motivating force common to all of us. That how others see the striving for success and superiority. And for the external factors in maladjustment, Adler believed that there are three factors related to abnormal development. Number one is organic inferiority. That is the defective parts or organs of the body. That is the organic inferiority. That's the result of the defective parts or organs of the body. Second, is the spoiling or pampering develops in children the idea that they are the most important person in situation. And the third one is neglected. When we say neglected, the person is unwanted and rejected. Children develops inferiority complex because of the lack of love and security of their parents. Those are uh the striving for the factors for the striving for success and inferiority those are the external factors in the abnormal development of a person so when we have the safeguarding tendencies other believe that people create patterns of behavior to protect their exaggerated sense of self-esteem against public disgrace. Under this, we have what they call excuses. What are the excuses? They protect a weak but artificially inflated sense of self-worth and deceive people into believing that they are more superior than they really are. They have their ex excuses on their own self. And under that one is another one is aggression. What is aggression? These are which people use aggression to safeguard their superiority complex to protect their fragile self-esteem. Under this is the depression. This is the tendency to undervalue others' people 
achievements and to overvalue one's own. So they always see uh, people's achievement uh, in an undervalue or they, they see it more on a complex one. So for the, for the own value, uh, sometimes people under the depreciation, uh, people on one's own overvalue their own their own uh, factors on this particular achievements. So for accusation, it is the tendency to blame others for one's failure and to seek revenge. And for the self-accusation, this is marked by self torture and guilt. We have under the safeguarding tendencies is what we call withdrawal. What is this? Safeguarding through distance. Some people escape life's problems by setting up a distance between themselves and those problems. When we say they keep on their distance, they, they go on on their own they don't socialize they sometimes uh keep themselves in a room or just uh, go away from their friends note that the safeguarding tendencies are self-defeating because self-interest and personal superiority are blocking them from securing authentic feeling or self-esteem And for the social interest, it is defined as an attitude of related with humanity as in general, as well as empathy for each member of the human community. So that's a social interest. Your interest in Gobi or uh, communicating with different people in your community. You show an empathy on those uh, members of the human community. So another for the striving for superiority, it is the fundamental fact of life that is also defined by other on 1930. And superiority is the ultimate goal toward which we strive. There are uh, a style of life. Under the style of life, as we try to reach our goal or superiority, we use different behavior patterns to achieve this goal. So persons have your own different behavior uh, capabilities or patterns showing for you to be able to achieve your goals in life, for you to have superiority. And for fictionalism, Fictional finalism is the idea that there is an imagined or potential goal that guides our behavior as we strive towards completeness. Okay, so under the birth order, the family, the family constellation is one of the practical application of individual psychology. Under the birth order, these are the First born child, we have the second born child or the middle child, we have the youngest child, and we have the only child. That's the birth order that we are talking about. And uh, under the psychotherapy for this, the goal of Aglerian therapy is to create a relationship between therapies and the client that fosters social interests. So that's the end of the slide for this uh, topic for the individual psychology.